Welcome, welcome. Um, just wanting to share this beautiful, beautiful um, waves of the ocean. It ha doesn't have that many stamps, but the stamps are stunning. This I'll show you when I've stamped stamp, uh, one of the cards I'll show you. Uh, this stamp's absolutely stunning. You don't have to do anything else with it. It just, hi Linda, hi Benita, welcome. So lovely to see you guys. Thanks for saying hi. Um, and the waves, you can do so much with this as well. And the um, sentiments are beautiful. Now the dies are amazing. It took me a little while to figure out what these were. And then I saw someone else had written down that they actually go on the clouds. These cut out these funny little sort of shapes. And they go on the clouds to make them look puffier and, and more 3D. So yeah, perfect. So you've got two wave dies and two label dies and the die to cut out the um, pelican. And these are the papers. Now I've put a little link in the in the comments uh, in the description about uh, looking at a video about how this was created. So these were created by an artist and then obviously photos and the papers were created. Uh, and it is used with oil and water and ink and colour and it's just incredible. Uh, the papers, now there's papers and foil. So the papers have lots and lots of different patterns on each side. I've used quite a bit of this. <laughs> so each one is very different. It's just, honestly, it is beautiful. I have used, as I say, quite a bit. Okay, and then you also have the foils and three, there's two of each of Silver Coastal Cabana and the Knight of Navy. Isn't that just gorgeous? Um, I don't think I've got my light on up there. No, hang on, I'm creating a shadow. Just turn that on. That's probably better. So, yes, I just wanted to share those with you before we get started. Oh, and the last thing, now these, look at these, aren't these beautiful? Just gorgeous. So sparkly. I'll leave them there because I'm going to use them. So we are going to be doing, using some of these papers, the fl strip floating technique. Perfect, perfect if you've got lots of leftover strips of paper um, and bits and pieces like I always have. And I usually, now don't listen if you're someone that saves everything, um, because I little strips, I'll just throw them away because I think, what am I going to do with them? Well, this is going to be um, an answer for you. So let me grab, I've done this on, I've just got the bits over here. So I need a grid piece because, whoops, I'm just going to reach over. We're going to be putting the strips on to this window sheet and to make sure that we get it nice and straight uh, when we put the strips on I'm going to use the grid paper so I don't know if you can can you see well you can see the reflection of the light <laughs> but um, let me move that up the top is on that thick line so just so you know that's where it is um, I'll just get that up so I can see Okay, so I've cut some strips from or from the bits and pieces. Let me just grab them. So a trick for this as well, that way, there we go. Now you get the other light. It's trouble is with these window sheets, isn't it? It's all very reflective. So first of all, you want to just lay them out where you want them to go. Start with a little bit of a gap. I've got extra on each side. And I tried to sort of um, get them so they went from sort of one color to the, to the next color um, in a sort of a pattern. Oh, you can see that's actually matching. And let's try this one. And this one. Okay. Just roughly anyway, it doesn't have to be doesn't have to be exact. Okay, I've got it 
I've got it. I'm not going to do all of these. I'm just going to show you because I actually have. I actually have got a completed one. So the trick is to get your strips and space out and see what space you want between them before you start so that you know you're going to have an even amount. Uh, and the other thing to do is, if I can get this up, put the glue, because they're longer strips, put the glue on your sheet, not on the paper. So add that and by having that lined up with the top there, you know that it is going to be straight. Don't know about you, but I love glue because of that very reason. I, I put things on my I put things on my projects and I swear they're straight, and then I hold it up, and of course it's not straight at all. So I um, just thought this was a fantastic way to use all those bits that you have. That you don't know what to do with. Okay, so you keep going. Keeping it straight and making sure you've got the same distance. Now, for one I prepared earlier. And, whoops, where is it? Yeah, there. So, these are all on the glass here, the glass, the window sheet, just the plain 12 by 12 window sheet. And then you trim it up. So, I, oops, better do it around this way, I'll cut through the window sheet. So, I hope everyone is well. We had a really hot day today nice to think that it's still not wintry and we had a bit of a bit of a panic here this afternoon just before I was or well, just about an hour before I was supposed to come live um, Amelia my granddaughter started crying luckily her mum and dad were here too and she'd sliced her hand open on some glass so they had to rush off to the poor thing she was just screaming as you do and she had to rush off to get it um, looked at and I was looking after Reuben. It was very distressing. So anyway, so here we go. We've got this on here now. And this is backed on here. And where did I put my... I had my strips here ready to go. There we go. Luckily, they're right behind me. All right. These are so, I keep forgetting about these actually. These are handy for using if you're doing shaker cards, but also for things like this, where you don't want to just be faffing around with a lot of um, dimensionals. So I'm just going to not do it too close to the edge so that you can't see. Just get rid of that. So if you come on, please say hi. Love to know that you're there. Have you all seen, I'm just going to put them on my um, page. Have you all seen the beautiful new in colours? If you have, what's your favourite? Your favourite in colour? The ones up and coming in, up and coming in colours due to be released on the 1st of May. So this is just a little bit labour intensive. <laughs> but it's pretty easy to put on. Oh, she's, yeah, she's happy now. She's running around with like a, a sock thing on her hand. And, um, yeah, she had a donut afterwards. That perked her up. Um, but it was, I don't think, well, she's not had anything like that happen before. So it was not very pleasant, you know, to hear her. So and we're about, oh, half an hour or more away from getting about 40 minutes to get anywhere. Now, I have got the beautiful Coastal Cabana foil on here. Everything's a bit shiny tonight, isn't it? Sorry. 
Starry Sky, yes, that's beautiful, isn't it? I'm wondering if that's going to be, is it Starry Sky or the other one? No, the um, awkwardy one. It's going to be quite purpley when it comes. I think it might have quite a purple hue on it. Right, let's take some of these strips off. And I love the fact there is a beautiful, beautiful um, turquoise colour. I love turquoise, so the parakeet starry sky, yeah, the parakeet one, yeah, yeah, I think I like the um, turquoise one, <laughs> I can't remember the right name at the moment, but I'm sure I'm going to get used to them all, okay, let's make sure I get this level up here. Yeah, and that looks floating now and with that beautiful coastal cabana behind there. Yes, you, yeah, it will have purple, I think. Yeah, more names to remember, exactly. <laughs> um, right, so the next thing I've done for this is I just used a one of the layering circles and cut out a circle from this paper. Yeah, we've got two years to try and remember the names and then, then they go. I have to get used to new ones. Right. Now I have cut out from the blue Tahitian Tide. Yeah, that's the purple one, isn't it? I mean the purple one. That's the, um, is that the turquoise one, Tahitian Tide, or is that the other bluey one? See, I told you, I haven't memorised them yet. So I'm going to... Adhere this on and then trim it down. So I'll trim it. Actually, I'll just trim it a bit now. Okay. And here. So you can do so much with these dies. You can have them on their own or you can add them to the stamp to um, give some sort of texture to the to the wave. Right. But the blues and the foil are just stunning. Tahitian Tide, thank you. <laughs> yeah, is my favorite, yes. Even sounds tropical, doesn't it, Tahitian Tide? Okay. So, I'll cut those extra bits off there in a minute. Okay. Whoop. Okay, here we go, and I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals. Some of the colours I'll be, I love the misty moonlight that's going, sadly. Okay. always taking the backs off. We think it'd be good to do this ahead of time but then then of course it would be sticky and stuck on everything so it wouldn't be very very good. Okay so I'm going to pop that there and then I have stamped the happy birthday. Now these are quite um, different in the sense that you can just put the ribbon from back to front. I've sort of, oops, picked a petal pink which sort of goes with this part here rather than the blue for a change. And these are the cotton, rim, cotton ribbon combo pack. And this is the 
Oh my goodness, all fingers and thumbs trying to just get this in here. Yeah, Misty Moonlight's lovely, isn't it, Linda? There's one of those. Gosh, that was a mission, wasn't it, to get that on? Um, I'm just going to add a little bit. Otherwise, as you can see, the ribbon does stick up a little bit. You like the shine on it looks like, oh, the shine on the um, this. The, yeah, it does look a bit like power. You're right, yeah. For those of you who don't know what power is, <laughs> it's a special um, shellfish that we have here in New Zealand. It, beautiful marbly, actually very much like that, doesn't it? Yeah, this sort of gorgeous colours and shimmer. Right, I'll just put a little bit there just to help keep that flat. Oops, I missed it there. Okay, let's trim that down. These are my ribbon scissors, which I don't use for anything else. They're getting a bit blunt now. I'm going to pop that across here. So I only want to put a dimensional on the bottom, or should I just put it down here? Hmm, no, I think I'll put it there. So I only want to put a dimensional there. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of a little bit of glue there. Yes, yeah, so it was very scary. I didn't know whether I'd make it on here tonight. Okay. Take a second to just take, and then we'll put some gems on, of course, um, which colour, I might do this blue, they are just so gorgeous, I just love the colour, it just reminds me, I don't know, of um, what's that blue stone, um, oh, I, honestly, my brain, I've lost my brain tonight, not a topaz, it's um, aquamarine, that's it. And that is the wave in the circle. Oh, thank you, Shani. Yeah, it looks great, doesn't it? Really does just add something to that circle. And so that's the floating. So you've used up all your strips. Um, I'll show you another one I've done here with um, the um, hand pinned. Um, designer series paper and I have used I've used a window sheet sapphire oh, sapphire yeah beautiful um, I've used a window sheet but I've used this one with the gold and the silver inlay over the top with the flowers just a little bit something a little bit different on the background for this one um, for the floating technique so it's still the same still on the window sheet but um, it's got that little pattern behind it so yeah I just love that and it's yeah so quick so quick and easy to do um, so just some of the others that I've used made with this um, gorgeous paper there's a couple that I did uh, for the um, artisan so this is what I was talking about with the stamp this is just stamped the detail um, is a distinctive stamp it's just stunning um, really beautiful and I've used the turquoise uh, foil and the silver foil for that and I've ripped some of the paper just to give that sort of beachy beachy feel on that one and then this is very similar with this one I've used uh, oh dear 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 vellum honestly <laughs> vellum and um, with the seagull as well just sort of trying to keep that beachy look um, this one, I've stamped the wave, and when I stamped it, I used the Stamparatus, and I uh, daubed extra colours 
on to the stamp and to get different shades. And then in the white, I got my white ink um, and dabbed it on the white area, and then covered that with embossing powder and dried it. And it gives a really um, sort of frothy look to the wave. Um, and you probably can't see, I used the clouds as, I didn't use cut them out, I used them as a stencil in, in the blue sky. They look um, just light white clouds in there. And I sort of doctored up the poles a little bit to get some taller, darker ones at the back. Um, and then this one is my tropical feel one, somewhere on a tropical island, enjoying the palm trees, the sunshine and the beautiful ocean. Um, wouldn't that be lovely? So yes, that is the Waves of the Ocean Suite and a fantastic way to use your, can you get all those in? Don't know. Fantastic way to use all your strips of extra paper. So thank you so much for joining me. Love the fact that you have been chatting. Love it when people um, chat. Love to know you're out there and um, thank you so much. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Benita. So kind. Um, kia kaha, everybody, and see you next Tuesday at 7. Bye.